The Royal National Lifeboat Institution is a charity that's been saving lives at sea for almost 200 years. With 290 lifeboat stations nationwide, the charity has most of the coast covered. Salcombe Lifeboat Station in Devon is manned mainly by a volunteer crew. With Salcombe being a waterfront town, it's become an incredibly popular location for sailing and other water sports. The town may seem quiet in the winter months, but come summer it becomes a tourist hotspot, and at the heart of the town is the lifeboat station. All right, so this morning's exercise. Rob's answer, Rob's phone. The R and I recommend one exercise a month. Um, that's not really enough. Obviously, we exercise every week. The more they're used to it, the safer they're going to be in a surface situation. I'd quite like you to do, Bill. Is Esther needs to come up to a level on the on the chart work as well. Can you sit with Esther and go through the nav? Yeah. yeah. So we go down and um, we we'll get the gear on. My job really is to to take them to sea and bring them all back safely and uninjured. The men and women who volunteer as the Salcombe lifeboat crew do so whilst maintaining full-time occupation elsewhere. Only the mechanic and coxswain are paid to work for the charity. They volunteer and train in their free time and are always at the end of a pager if needed to go out on a rescue. Um, on the boat I'm primarily the navigator, although we're all multitasking on the boat. Um, I've been on the crew for 12 years now. Here in Salcombe, the lifeboat's been very important to the town over many, many, many years. Although, with the demographics changing on the coast now, less and less people living here full time, the makeup of the crew has changed now. We're now looking at people who aren't necessarily uh, full time employees. I've been um, with the lifeboat crew in Salcombe for about five years, and I'm a web designer in town. I was technically freelance, had a lot of free time, so I could. Um, but increasingly as I get busier and as I get older and more sort of family commitments and stuff it is increasingly difficult to um, make it down to showers and even to go out to the training we do every single week. The crew need to train on the all-weather lifeboat and are expected to practice their life-saving skills as often as they can. Salcombe have a Tamar class boat which is manned for rescues out at open sea. To begin with I was asked to join the crew um, as it was in those days um, we had a shortage of people who had seagoing experience and uh, it was something It was something I could put back into the community, something to give back to the community. Um, it's tradition that people with seafaring experience join the lifeboat to give that commitment to helping others. Other people do other charitable work, seaside towns, that's what we do. Salcombe Lifeboat Station also has an inshore lifeboat which deals with rescues that happen in shallower water and close to cliffs. The crew need to train on both boats to ensure they're prepared for any type of rescue. For us to find new crew it's a constant, it's a constant battle. The furthest away from Salcombe you can live and be on the crew really is Marlborough, so you've got about four or five minutes to get to the station. It's not ideal, but it, it's the way we've got to go. They're on the end of a pager, so if the pager goes off, they're expected to turn up and go to sea. They could be at sea 10, 12, 14 hours, and then they come back, and they've got to go back and then catch up on their daytime jobs and family life. The inshore lifeboat is often used to tow other boats back to shore. With both boats rendezvousing out at sea, the crew carry out a towing exercise. The crew around you uh, and the equipment you've got, um, safety is one of the most important things on the boat. Um, the number one person to keep alive at sea is yourself, um, because we're no use to anyone. Um, if, if we're injured or anything, then we're no use to the casualties out there that need rescue. So, um, 
you know, just it's just addictive, I suppose. And also just the fun of doing it. I mean, some people pay a lot of money to go on like a rib ride or whatever. We get to do it, you know, once a week for free. So. <laughs> They then carry out man overboard drills by throwing a buoy into the sea and then taking it in turns to helm the boat and point to where the buoy or casualty is in the water. Man overboard! Most of the shouts that we go on turn out fairly well. That uh, one one uh, shout that will always stay in the mind was to a, a racing yacht with a young man on there who uh, who was working his passage he was he was uh, dedicated to racing sailing boats and wanted to join this crew and um, the uh, the yacht lost its keel it turned over and this particular young man was trapped down below and he lost his life and that was so sad but that's the way that some of these shouts go most of the time they work out well sometimes you've got to cope with that sort of sad, uh, sad event. The crew will go and have a few pints and put it to the back of the mines, but it will always be there. It will always be there. After two hours of training, both boats return to the harbour and are cleaned and serviced by the crew to keep them in the best possible condition for future shouts. This boat, the inshore life boat, Last year saved a, a body border. If they hadn't got him, he'd have been smashed a bit on, on the rock. So yeah, and there, there's lots of services as time goes on that you do make a difference. Every time the boats go out, it makes a big difference to somebody. Basically anyone sort of fit and healthy, and young, um, that has the time should do in the tank because it's vital acid. You do get a lot of reward from going out, um, you get a lot of training, uh, but also the training you do gives you the confidence that the other people around you know what they're doing. The RNLI is able to function because of the men and women volunteers and the skills they've learnt whilst training. With the charity as a whole saving on average 22 people every day, the work the volunteers do is invaluable. <laughs>